Hello, hello! Long time no see. I'm back here again playing with October 2018 Hip Kits and I'm really sorry that I have, haven't been here around YouTube quite much lately but here I am again <laughs> and I hope to be back much sooner than later. Anyway, um, I'm going to play with some scraps I have left over as I have done a couple of layouts uh, already with this lovely kit or kits from Hip Kit Club and I have lots of fuzzy cutting things and those hexagons and uh, flowers that I have been using on other layouts and I'm going to play with those. Uh, I have this lovely cut file also from Hip Kit Club. Um, it was designed by Kim Watson and it was a little bit different first but I repeated a couple of those leaves and added them to the center of the paper and then cut it with my silhouette and now I'm going to pack them all leaves with different pattern paper. Um, this is my idea at this point and no other idea. Uh, I just like to do it. I really like <laughs> making uh, this kind of packing to pad files. It's so relaxing. Some, some might think that that's weird. Maybe it is. But I really like doing it. It's same with fuzzy cutting and hand stitching. It's really time consuming but it's worth it and it's lovely. So here's the ready one but I wasn't pleased with that. I think there was too small amount of those leaves so I got a new one. Um, as you can see there are lots more of leaves and it will take, of course, a bit more time to um, make this, but I don't mind. Uh, I'm, I'm having my craft this Sunday, so it really doesn't matter that it takes time. And here it is already. Now, I'm going to make this layout about myself. Um, it's nice to do every now and then. A little writing about myself. Um, I added one white cardstock behind this layout to make sure that the um, backside is uh, ready for all the journaling that I'm going to write there. It's much easier to do there <laughs> and it's hidden there so I don't have to show it to the whole world. Uh, of course, it, there's no secrets, it's <laughs> just about how much I like to create and how much I want to work to be able to create. For example, I, I was in Australia this month, but it didn't go as planned, not at all. But I'm already thinking about new journey somehow, someday, and I will do anything to make that happen. So that's why, or that's something that I really want to write about. And it clears my mind to do that. So it's kind of a form of therapy, I think. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I really like this Epamera pack. The whole collection I'm using here, not the collection, but all the parts of the kit I'm using here is from Pink Paisley uh, and Paige Evans' whimsical collection and it's absolutely lovely. I especially love these flowers because usually in Epamera pack there are a couple of flowers and stuff that I'm not going to use or probably not going to use, but in this package there are only things that I'm definitely going to use as there are lots of beautiful colorful flowers and nothing else. Just the flowers and the leaves, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use them and I'm going to use some here and adhering everything, all those flowers with 3D foam to make them pop up and I like the effect that, that there are some uh, behind those leaves behind the background 
and then lots of um, on top. So it's really, really emotional layout. The title is Create, obviously, because I'm doing this about creating things. And I like the leaves this way, but I want to add something for the leaves. I mean, they are really good, and I thought about hand stitching, um, making some kind of stitching around, but it will take time, and it's kind of late at this point. I should have done it like before I back them with another paper, so I will keep this idea for another layout. And for this I decided to use the Hit Kit Club October Color Kit. There were one mist, one paint and one watercolor from Shimmers. All these lovely coordinating colors and I'm going to use these. So light blue to light blue patterned paper and I'm just going to color up these edges of each leaf. Nothing more, just the edges and it will be good and it will pop up more and it will make the Erhi loop kind of for the layout. Um, and I really like using watercolors like this. And as I want to use this color from the mist, I don't want to spray it. It would ruin the whole layout. So I'm just taking a couple drops with a brush and then using the mist just as I would use any watercolor. And it will work. It's a bit darker than orange, but not red, but kind of a reddish orange, and I think it goes well with this pattern paper. Um, kind of giving similar color that the big bloom there on top of the photograph is. And once I, I did all those watercolorings, I'm going to add some embellishments like butterflies, you have to have some butterflies and stars and stuff like that. And then it's ready. Of course I have to wait that it's totally dry and everything has really glued down so I can write my journaling to the back. But I think it's other than that, it's ready. So, thank you for watching and I appreciate each and every one of you who are watching and subscribing my channel. I hope I'll be back sooner rather than later. Uh, I think uh, with November hip kits, as soon as, <laughs> as soon I got them. Or then I just will do another one with those whimsical stuff I have here. Because I absolutely adore them. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye!